Hello guys, do not go anywhere because I'm going to tell you and show you how easy it is to fix your sound problem on a Windows 98 computer if you've built it yourself or otherwise. Now just here is my Windows 98 build which I have talked about on other on other episodes and I just want to show you how easy it is to do. So basically about, uh, must be about six months ago, I decided to build a Windows 98 computer and I decided that I was going to use it from different parts, from using an old case and blah blah blah. Um, and basically I like things to be done as easy as possible and I built it from spare parts but for whatever reason I just couldn't get the sound to work and I didn't really want to spend money on it. I just used it out of old parts from old computers I'd laying about and I couldn't get the sound to work. So I watched the YouTube videos we all do and basically I came across a video that talked about a little USB sound card. Now you're probably thinking, oh that probably don't work Dave. And I'll tell you what, it does. It's compatible from Windows 98 up and you basically plug and play and this is all you do. You literally just buy it, it literally costs about a fiver. Um, I'm pretty sure I got mine for two or three pounds, but I will put a link to it in the description. And just before I carry on, welcome to DOSBite, everybody. Um, I'm Dave from DOSBite, and here at the DOSBite community, we make weekly content videos on old computers, old games, and just that journey in general. So if that sounds interesting to you, please feel free to subscribe. Uh, I'll be really, really, really grateful if you want to get more content like this. So basically, I bought this little um, sound card, uh, USB plug and play, and I know you can get proper sound cards, retro ones, ones of the time period, and you can do this, but I just wanted something really easy. So I, I bought it, as this video suggested, and you literally plug it in by your USB port. I recommend the back, and in the back of it, you've actually got two little um, audio ports, one for your... Um, speakers and one for a microphone, which is really cool. I must admit, I've not used that part, uh, not needed it. Now, I've heard mixed reviews on this, but for the sake of four or five pounds or dollars, that's literally, you know, not a lot to fix a big problem. And, and I'm sure those of you that want to do some gaming on your old computer, you want to fix that problem. And all you do is you plug it in like so, and you literally just plug it in, really simple, Bam, 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 and what will happen is it will come up with, you just add new hardware. It will pop, actually if you turn off the computer and restart it, uh, mine actually just came up, it had found new hardware, it installed it, it actually installed it two or three times, the same driver. And if you can't find, just do a search in, in the Windows, if you have a Windows CD or just search on the hard drive, it should found something similar. And it will literally just install it. It might just do it once for you, but for me, it did two or three times, and boom, problem solved. And I have heard different views about this, but I plugged it into a TV with some nice speakers on it, and it sounded perfectly fine for all the games that I wanted to play with it. So I hope that was helpful and has solved the problem that you're looking for. Please put in the comments below if you have any questions about it and I will do my best to answer them or if you want any more detail on that. But honestly, it sounds basic, it sounds too good to be true, but this was the best five pound I ever wasted on any device. It was absolutely a lifesaver because I was just like, oh, I just don't want to spend, you know, 50 quid or whatever on a retro sound card of the era uh, when I haven't really spent much on the rest of it. You know, do you know what I mean? I, I just wanted an easy fix. So I'd highly recommend one of these. And like I said, I do have a link to this in the description. So if you're building a Windows 98 computer or that type of era or older, DOS computer even, or Windows 95, please again put it in the comments below, just be really interested to find out. We also have um, some video links to floppy disks as well. <laughs> anyway, so if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I just hope that you got value from this week's episode. This is actually the last of this particular series, but do not worry, because in a week or so, I'm going to start filming again and make even better episodes. So you know what? Until then, go and check out the rest of the series. See you later. Oh, and just briefly before I go, do not go anywhere, do not go anywhere. I just want to do a massive shout out to our DOS community on Facebook. We do have a link to that as well. I forgot to do that in the last episode. So a massive shout out to all of you. If you want to join it and share your computers and old games, we honestly have, at this point of filming, over 60,000 members. That's incredible. When I thought three or four years ago, I thought no one cared. And obviously I was 
massively mistaken. So go and check that out. That is awesome. So anyway, thank you again. Thank you for watching. And please put in your comments below how this worked for you. See you down the road.